Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your reading for August, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please continue to comment as you will be put in the raffle for my 9,000 subscriber giveaway, okay? So Scorpios, what is happening with you guys? I'm going to start off with this Soul Journey Lessons Oracle and see what messages I could get for you guys starting off for the month of August, all right? Wow, these two just wanted to come up. We've got denial and balance. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the inside of awareness and balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So I guess there could be a time and place to have denial or to not be so immersed in your feelings and facing things, and then there's a time to not. So it's talking about finding the delicate balance within that, okay? within, you know, avoiding things because they're too much to deal with and also facing things is the feeling I'm getting. Especially with Scorpio because when you guys dive in, you dive in really deep and it just might be a lot to take on right now. All right, so I'm using the Spellcaster's Tarot and we've got the Hierophant could be dealing with the Taurus, which is interesting because you and Taurus are my last two readings and for some reason, I don't know why, I thought that was interesting because you guys are opposite so um you but also could be seeking some spiritual counsel here dealing with a spiritual situation repenting your sins okay with this specific taurus maybe you're even dealing with a capricorn because i see some devil energy here maybe you're dealing with earth sign heavy people right now okay but this is about coming out of that denial and admitting to yourself maybe hard truths that you I don't usually see the hierophant as that but this specific hierophant I see is that like organized religion kind of energy and then we have the tower wow way to start off your reading so you're trying to find balance after you got knocked off balance I feel like here an intense way to start your reading here Scorpio what else can we know about the tower here what else do we need to know? It's like lightning struck and just like shifted your whole world. And then we have King of Swords. It could have been um, from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone who's being very cold, very emotionally detached from you, very disciplinarian. They're kind of treating this like business instead of like really being into your emotions. And that could be why you're looking to a spiritual power because you might feel kind of hopeless. You might feel like you're in the dark night of the soul. And you have seven of wands here. So you feel like you have to defend your stance on things. Maybe defend your spirituality. Maybe defend your convictions. Um, maybe it's like a battle of the minds here between you and this king of swords. Because you're defending and their king of swords doesn't budge. Doesn't um, let up for anything. So let's get one more tarot here. We've got eight of... No, page of wands. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. It might be time with the denial to just get out of this battle and just go and have fun and just like leave the battle, leave the pieces there, let it just crumble with that tower energy and let it go and just go find your bliss, okay, is the feeling I'm getting here. All right, so I'm going to use pearls of wisdom and see what messages, advice about this particular situation I could get. Clean slate. That's what the Page of Wands is all about. A new adventure. Wow. Stop replaying a story that no longer relates. Play a new tape. Write a new story. You are not forever defined by the past. So taking chances, being more exploratory, finding a new beginning here. Okay, I love that. Because this person you're dealing with, it just seems like they're not emotionally budging. Self-care. Find ways to do energy healing on yourself. Learn Reiki. Do yoga. Do visualizations. Write affirmations. Put your hand on your chest and tell yourself you are exactly on the right path and breathe. Because this person might have really messed you up and you're just, you need to find a way to self-care at this point. Wow, beautiful, okay? So let's get some, I'm going to pull from my energies of your connection and see what are some of the current energies going on with Scorpio and their situation. dreaming okay you might be just dreaming of a better situation going on you might just want to get out of where you're at long lost love so it could be very nostalgic okay and love offer but there is going to be a love offer so don't get too caught up in that in that space okay i'm gonna pull from my twin flame current vibes and get some 
energies on your situation. You don't have to be twin flames, but this is just like a twin flame type of energy, like a soulmate connection. What is going on with you guys? What's going on with them? Crystal clear. I now know what I have to do. Okay. So things are becoming more clear here. Maybe that tower moment um, broke the way for some clarity. Vibrations, music, sense, dreams, I feel it all. So I feel like you guys are still definitely connecting in the 5D here, all right? So that could actually be messing you up with the crystal clear though, okay? So I'm gonna pull from Angelic Revelations, Fire and Ice, Lenormand, and get some more energies about this. Eternal, the heart and soul that tie that bond, that bind, okay? So it's like no matter what happened, you guys have this connection, okay? So you don't have to worry even decisions that take you away from this person because you'll still be connected with vibes with this long lost love and feminine, all right? But you have to be on your divine feminine journey. You can't ignore that you're calling here. And we got mice, worry, anxiety, stress, a constant niggle and loss. So it's like, I feel like you guys want to take a step, but you're afraid that you're going to lose this person. But as long as you're aligned with your divine feminine path, you're not going to lose anything. Okay. So let us pull a couple of messages from your person, from their higher. Actually, I'm going to pull for my moody moon messages, masculine. This is my more moody moon messages and see where they're, what they're feeling, what they're thinking right now. What is this person feeling and thinking right now that Scorpio is dealing with? Complacent, settling, stagnant, and comfort zone. They don't wanna make any moves, and you do wanna make moves. Vulnerable, raw, open, and genuine. So under underneath it all, isn't that underneath, underneath my sheets? Or I'm thinking of that Shakira song. There, oh my God, I can't, underneath it all. Underneath it all, they do have emotions. Underneath that hard exterior, that King of Swords energy, they're vulnerable. And then we have threatened, dark side snake, competitive. They could be looking at things going on with you and feel threatened by you. So they're playing these games, okay? So let's get from Angelic Revelation 144, Naked Flame Healing Messages. What are some things that they want to communicate to you? This threatened little snake that has a, an agenda underneath their hard king of swords exterior. My partner knows about you and they are jealous as fuck. They will do anything they can to keep me stuck. Well then, we have complacent. So I promise next lifetime I'm getting it right, my love. I am so sorry I fucking screwed everything up. So oh my God, this person feels horrible about this decision that they made to be with this other person. That's the feeling I get just really strong just now, okay? So if you're not dealing with someone in a third party situation, there's something that keeps them from preventing them from coming forward, but they feel very stuck and very unhappy and very bad about it. And underneath it all, it's like a raw exposed wound, okay? And they're licking their wounds. They're licking their wounds, okay? I'm gonna use for my Fluid Love Oracles. This is an LGBT deck, but these messages can apply to anyone. A lot of the images are um, gay in nature, but that doesn't have to resonate with you. I will, re I will do the reading as it resonates with it, okay? Fluid Love Oracles is my new deck. Let's see what else other energies are going on here. Gay love, okay. Well, this is, of course I pull this. Um, that's also rainbow love, you know, that's like a very vibrant love that you guys have a lot of colors, a lot of colorful thing. It stood out. Come with me. Okay. So they wish they could be with you and tree huggers. So you guys could have been really into nature together. Um, and I didn't mean that as a derogatory thing. I love that. <laughs> it literally meant like tree huggers. Like, I guess you could take it like that, but that's not what I meant. And love is love. So even though I was saying this is not gay, there could be some gay dynamics here. Um, it could be that even one of them is gay. You know, if they're with someone, maybe their other person is actually gay. And a lot of this is like about manipulation or something like that. But I'm going to pull some final messages from Twin Flame Shades of Light and Dark by my soul sister, Karen Soul. Soul Magic 99 Kisses Under the Star. So you guys could have had 
some magical nights together, maybe like really in the middle of the night when the stars were out. Dancing when the stars go. Romantic sensual nights. Oh my God, you guys, I just said that. You guys could have had a lot. This person still thinks about those, okay? Past hurts, mental anguish. This is this, is this person. They're still vulnerable. They're still raw. There's something about you that triggers them though. So um, let's just get one last card for my star temple oracle. Not mine, but the star temple oracle. That one overall energy to go by here, Scorpio. Mother of the sea, goddess, I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. This is so beautiful, but I also feel this is how they see you as like a goddess. They remember those, I think of endless summer nights from um, Richard Marks. I'm gonna put those lyrics up. All right, guys, so they do see you in that light, so just know that. All right, that's your guys' reading. I hope it resonated with you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.